Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to Leech News, episode 63, part 3. Eugene on the scene. Well, we're just going to delve right in. Get down to the rest of the point they're trying to make with DJ. Let's see what else is going on here, huh? He goes, try it. I'll get the phone back. This idiot thought I was walking around with my insurance phone. Oh, SJ, all, Justin's going to jail for robbery or whatever. Paul is going to jail for a criminal conspiracy. That's about 20 years. So Merlin tried to steal this phone, the insurance phone. But the insurance phone hasn't physically been with me for four months. It was been held with safekeeping. So I'm turning this phone over to the FBI. The FBI is giving me a reward, witness protection, and... Um, my freedom and my life back. This is my last live stream. Uh, and now's my retirement from YouTube. I'm just gonna do real. You're, dead, you're still gonna see me all over the internet. I'm just not doing YouTube live streaming anymore for a little while because I can't have crazy idiots trying to kill me. So it's been fun streaming with you guys. It's been fun with the ice beside and shit. It's been fun, dude. But this is my last video and this is my retirement. The FBI told me if I fucking give them this, they put me in witness protection and I cannot access the internet or stream for a few months while, they, while this case goes on. And I can't stream until the court case is over. This is going to be a year or two. So, I'm not retiring forever, but I'm retiring now. So, goodbye everyone. Thank you. Dude, I'd hate to be ice right now. I, I mean, look, how, like, I, I don't know how many times Ice needs to be told, get rid of SSJ because he doesn't really know what he's doing. SSJ's a nice guy, yes. Business-wise, no. Business-wise, no. He's trash. Um, but, like, 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 I, I, I like SSJ. Like, I've met SSJ, I've talked to him, like, he's cool with me, he's nice to me. I don't know if he's nice to me just because I'm a big streamer. You don't really know, but he's always been nice to me. Um... But Ice has had loads of he's he's had loads of people have told him what to do. They've given him advice. I've given him advice. He doesn't listen to anybody. So pretty much he gets what he deserves. You know, if you don't listen, like if you don't take advice from people who care about you, you just get what you deserve, isn't it? Nah, doesn't quite work that way. But surprise, surprise, I do agree with what most most of what uh, Greek is saying there. <sighs> SSJ is a horrible human being, a horrible businessman. And yes, he was just being nice to you because you're a big streamer. Duh. Let's get real here. But doesn't that make him kind of a good businessman, sort of? Because he's protecting his clients' quote unquote best interests. So, yeah, you could say, you could argue either way. Yeah, he's a great businessman. Oh, he sucks. Oh, blah, blah, blah. You know, whatever. Everybody's got their flaws. Everybody's got their good points. It's just the way life works, unfortunately. Uh, I just, I don't agree. I don't think SSJ is a great person at all. Hence, he's trying to take up for his employee by destroying evidence. He's trying to destroy evidence for his employee or business partner, whatever you want to call him. Eh. Doesn't seem like that's a good business guy right there. If you're a shady businessman, you get someone else to do it for you. You pay someone else to do it or you know a bunch of people who will do it. You supposedly know millions of people who would destroy people's lives, right, SSJ? Right, Brent? You know millions of people. You said that to the Dow brothers. You're going to make their life miserable on the internet with millions of people. Well, I'm sure. You could have done that with DJ, right? But DJ doesn't seem to be scared of y'all at all. <sighs> and if it is all true, then that is unfortunately 20 years. Probably less. Probably reduced the sentence to about 13 to 15. Just for Ice Poseidon. Scuff Jim Carrey. Scuff Justin Carrey. Probably. If he gets caught. 
in some kind of backhanded way. He'll do community service probably ended up or six months to three years at the most, maybe two years. For a conspiracy to commit assault. And then this Merlin guy who I know nothing about. Yeah. Him and Phineas. Yeah, they're probably going to do the most time. Because you got all kind of crap. You got data mining. You got stealing people's identities. You got all kind of crap that they're doing. Supposedly. You got like 10 different counts. That's 50 years. But they don't live in the States. So they'll never get extradited. Because it's all hearsay. There's no witnesses. It's just whatever's on the phone. Well, who knows? Might happen. Now, I besides fix and talk about the FBI being very slow at their jobs and Interpol being very fast at their jobs. But is Interpol thorough? So if Interpol is fast, so then Phineas and Merlin, if there's one of the same, if they're two different people, whatever, they're going to be extradited fast if Interpol really is as fast as Paul's saying in this one. And FBI is slow, but they'll be sitting in FBI federal prison for a good little minute until they get their hearing. And blah, 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 so on and so on. If this is actually true, which being the worst case scenario, that I think is why Hyphonics was told and Keemstar is told to play it down to the uh, spoofing, spoofing other people's phones and this and that charges. Yeah. I don't think DJ would have went to the FBI with just a spoofing the phone charge. Nah. And nor would the FBI tell you, oh, yeah, we're just spoofing you. I mean, if they do, it's just like as a, you know, to shut you up kind of thing. Because Hyphonics and Sophia were bugging them about the dog. Don't kill my dog. Don't kill my dog. Don't touch my dog. Sophia said it a hundred times. Hyphonics said it a hundred times. So they're probably annoyed with that. And just gave them a whatever answer, if that is true. Just gave him a, yeah, we're just, we're just looking into spoofing phones. Or could be Paul just saying, no, 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 no. Just say spoofing phones. Don't, don't say what it really is. Because, you know, he's trying to keep his little business alive as, as long as he can. Keep his, his stuff alive, you know. Spread the fake news, but that just that shows uh, you know who Keemstar really is, Mister Captain Fake News right there, who wants to you know put everybody down who's not hanging out with just his little sect of YouTube, you know, wants to put everybody in jail who's not hanging out with him, who's a direct competition to him, like he tried to do with Jake and Logan Paul. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. Because he's on FaZe Bank's little yucky team. You know what I mean? And I Poseidon has ties with them too, so there you go. If you're not on a certain side of YouTube, you get screwed over. Yay! YouTube is now a criminal organization. Woohoo! Yahoo! Interpol's actually a hell of a lot more uh, better than the FBI. Money. The FBI is a piece of... The she FBI sucks. Listen, I don't even care if I get fucking... The FBI keep like coming like, after um, me for this, but check it out. Check the out. FBI is the most useless fucking agency in the world. They don't do shit, okay? The FBI will not help you do shit. Literally, they don't give a fuck. Bunch of lazy you fucks. Let you know name streamer moving the house okay, then you talk to Interpol. You talk to Interpol percent. for fucking one week, and they get and they arrest the guy. Okay. All right, I'll end it there. At least news episode sixty-three, part three. Y'all be kind to one another out there. Be blessed. Stay safe.